Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Time Pass with the New Indian Express. I have with me the exquisite Kirti Suresh, who just wowed us uh, with her brilliant performance in Mahaniti and uh, just earned everybody's love and appreciation. Uh, it's so lovely to have you here, Kirti, and you're looking amazing in Penguin as well, although it looks so scary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to be here. Yeah. Thank you. So tell us about Penguin, uh, 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 you know, a movie that's gone on to uh, Amazon Prime, but uh, it's uh, going to premiere on the 19th. We're so looking forward to it. Uh, how scary was it to shoot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I was a little scared when I saw the uh, mask man yeah. uh, the first time because I saw him in a dark room and I, I actually got scared <laughs> for that night. But uh -huh. yeah. Uh, yeah, Penguin um, is a film that um, I'm really looking forward to as well. So um, Penguin is about um, uh, uh, the film is about uh, a mother who's in agony uh, because she lost her son and I mean um, he, he's, he's gone missing and um, she's trying to find him and in that journey of four days what are those thrilling elements uh, that, that's happening so it's more of an emotional thriller I'll call it and um, so it's like 60% of uh, emotions and 40% uh, of thriller so yeah uh, that's about it. What? How has life changed after Mahanati? Because it gave you the uh, uh, the canvas of playing such a marvelous actress who lived such a full life. Uh, how did it change you professionally as well as personally? I think uh, uh, professionally it changed like in ev every way. Right. Um, it gave me uh, mm -hmm. a very nice uh, opening. Um, to all these women-centric films. So Mahanati was like an opportunity for me to prove myself. Um, you know, I was doing all commercial films before that. Right. That is when I got to prove myself as a performer. Yeah. So things just changed beautifully for me, touch wood. Yeah. And I think as a person, uh, uh, maybe my choice of projects uh, okay that's still professionally related <laughs> but yeah but as a person I think uh, maybe I've gotten a little matured after that uh, you know uh, it, it, was, it, it was a very nice experience working in that film and uh, I learned a lot uh, from the from the actor um, she is amazing so I think uh, I, I keep uh, thanking her every day for whatever she's given me and yeah I feel blessed absolutely um, uh, you know your mother's an actor as well so uh, did some of her experience uh, help you as well in playing such an evolved arc um, so so oh, uh, yeah, so uh, in the beginning, uh, she uh, I actually said no to the film once I heard. The I narrative. believe so. That is <laughs> legend <really> now. <laughs> that uh, Nag, Nag, Nag Ashwin gave you a four-hour narration, and then you said no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love the script, and I I I, to, I told him I love it, but I'm not doing it because <laughs> I was very scared. I mean. She's she she's a very renowned actor. Everybody loves her, right. and uh, to bring that persona on screen, I didn't know like if I'll be able to do justice to her. So it was because it's not that see such a project anybody will want to do it, but yeah. I shouldn't go and spoil it. Was my yeah. only thought. But Nagi had so much confidence in me, so I thought if the director has some confidence, I should probably have a little more than that and try and do this. And yeah, so I told my mother and she was, she was super excited. She was like, yeah, you have to do it. And, uh, and then, uh, yes, so, uh, she did uh, give me a lot of tips while shooting, yeah. like whatever. So, you know, like a lot of people know some stories about her. Uh, yeah. Have heard some, you know, they'll have some personal experience with her. Right. So she was sharing a few things, what she knew about her and her, her 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 style of acting and a few things. It was a, it was very difficult to uh, do two um, do two things in the movie. One is that 
um to to bring her uh, whatever uh, um, whatever uh, songs that she's done to replicate them exactly on screen that was yeah. a task definitely Absolutely. because like if you ask me to repeat something what i have done i might not be able to do what i have done myself right. so to do what somebody else has done is is very difficult and as a person we don't know her i have not met her so i don't know what her personality is what how she was so i spoke to her daughter and you know uh, i kind of gathered a lot of information about her mannerisms her way of walking the way she talks so and um, uh, there's a book i read the book so you know when you put all these together you ca- that forms a personality and i just trusted that and i just went forward so yeah my mom helped me a lot how many hours did you spend watching her movies and watching her dance and sing and must be hours yeah so uh yeah i spent a lot of time I, especially there was this portion where we shot maya bazaar yeah, i think yeah. i remember taking like 40 45 takes i don't think i've t- taken so <laughs> many takes in life and uh, i think um, i i just wanted it to be flawless and i didn't want anybody to find some mistake yeah. so i tried my best to you know bring out everything uh, uh, exactly like she did and yeah i took i spent a lot of time in that and and i think we were scheduled to shoot this maya bazaar portion uh, at one particular time and uh, i said no i need more practice and we actually you know postponed it okay. so yeah it was very difficult but i think now looking back at it i think just feeling happy and proud that just so worth it isn't it yeah. like something that you uh, you know something that you instinctively want to do mm-hmm. but are afraid to do and it works out it must be a wonderful feeling absolutely i just yeah. believe that like even if you say no some things just keep coming to you and that yeah is- It's just, yeah, right. it's just meant for you yeah it's just meant for me and uh, you know i've noticed um, uh, um, akiti that after that your career has your choices have really changed you know yeah uh, i think uh, uh, whether it's conscious or unconscious you are doing movies which uh, i i wouldn't call them heroines oriented but where the parts are meatier and you know more meaningful yeah, yeah, yeah. uh so uh, how did how did that happen because you were doing very well commercially yeah, i mean b- uh but uh, this uh, so after mahanati it was like a pause button yeah. like where you pause and think what to do next and right. you know had to think a lot so actually to i had a break for like about 6 7 months right. and that was the time i was Uh, uh gathering all, all the scripts i was listening to a lot of new scripts and trying to choose you know so you have this thing what you want to uh, what should be the next release after mahanati so right. i actually said no to a lot of projects then i said yes uh-huh. so um yeah and uh, i in fact after mahanati i wanted to do like a pakka commercial film and <laughs> actually what came my way were these heroine oriented films yeah. i was like okay wait i wanted to do something and something else is happening and that's what actually happens in life it, it's yeah. not always what you want to do is what happens right right uh, so uh, yeah i got these films and i was waiting for a while for these commercial films and I okay I thought okay no more waiting maybe I should just take up <laughs> and then uh, yeah I I I then I chose uh, Miss India the film that I'm doing in Telugu then to yes. ask Aki again that's Telugu then again this one Penguin in Tamil so uh, and uh, I, so th- that's one side and I was um, I I was very sure that I wanted to do commercial films as well but um, fortunately um, all the commercial films that that came my way after mahanati was like uh, was more, was more meteor in yeah. terms of my character so it's not always that in commercial films you get to do meaty roles but you ha- always have to do it and that's what i've done before right. but this time after mahanati it was uh, more meteor and i think um, that, that that's what you want and so now i'm like trying to balance it with like commercial and but what uh, commercial films kirti i mean to be with uh mohan lal in marakar and to be with uh, rajni kant in An- anante i mean it must be i don't know it must be magical what was it like 
<laughs> yeah, so Lal sir, um, we I started off my first film with uh, Lal sir and Priyan sir. So yeah, uh, doing Kunjali Marakar uh, again with them, it's like just back to home. <laughs> so I I've, I've always grown up watching them at home. uh so like because uh, my dad and the all of friends right so it's uh, it's uh, always a pleasure to be back with our uh, first team and yeah so i've played one character in that um, uh, an important character in that and that's my malayalam film after a long time that i'm doing after my first... chinese lover mind you ha huh? in, <laughs> in these times i think it's interesting to have a chinese connection <laughs> i don't think we should talk about it <laughs> oh god yeah i forgot about that <laughs> so uh, i think my, my my i i don't think my dad is going to be happy <laughs> But the film looks spectacular, Kirti. It just looks brilliant. <laughs> thank you, thank it's, you. It's what is it? The most expensive Malayalam film ever made? Um, something like that. Uh, it, it's again. Uh, I think it's so. It's based on a real life story. Right. Uh, it's a biopic, and yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think it's going to be a treat, uh, visually and in all means. It's so yeah, I, and I love my character in that too. It's 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 a small portion, but it's a very important uh, character. So yeah, working with Lal Sir is always uh, fun. He's fun at the sets, and and it's it, it feels very nice. You know, it, I've always seen him as my dad's friend, and to right. uh, be back with him on screen is like. really cool and even in uh, anate rajni sir i'm a huge fan of his yeah. and um, who isn't <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we actually like when we watch his movies at home uh, you know uh, my mom me uh, uh, my grandma we all sit and try to whistle every <laughs> day we don't know how to but you can know you, can you try to whistle kirti how do you whistle <laughs> <laughs> no i can just do the normal whistle i can't do this one can so you try we... that at least with us oh that <laughs> okay not bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's fine but yeah this makes this makes, <laughs> makes it look more massy i've yeah, yeah. i still have been trying to do that i'm asking my friends to teach me <laughs> i want to like you know or uh, whomever i admire on screen i just want to go <laughs> to the theater and do it once for myself right and yeah so it's it's so it's so nice my mom worked with uh, rajni sir uh, right for me to get uh, i i never even expected that i'm going to share screen space with him so it's, right. it's awesome so have you started you finished marakar but you you're yet to start uh, shooting with rajni sir am i right or uh, uh, you... yeah i finished marakar yeah i'm yet to shoot for anatha again yeah right so you have a whole lot of movies that are waiting to be uh, uh, sure. yeah. hit the theaters right yeah, there's yeah, miss yeah. india there's marakar this yeah this marakya this miss india there is um, good luck sakhi there is yeah. anathe uh, and there's rang de that's rang de yeah, yeah that's a proper rom com that yeah. I, that i'm doing in telugu and i'm looking forward to that's with you must in, yeah you must be happy to be back to something very simple and so it feels really good you know when you're doing these um, these films where it's completely on my shoulder and then you go to a rom com film and you know it's relaxed and it's so much fun and it's just like the mood of the film most right. of the time and uh, the, the i think we actually really need such films when i'm doing these serious films yeah. we need these kind of things to like balance absolutely uh, how is uh, good luck sakhi you're playing a shooter in it and working with nagesh kukunur must be exciting he's such a great filmmaker it's amazing i i've learned a lot from him and this is the first time uh, i'm doing uh, uh, i worked with uh, sing sound live sound oh, okay so i was a little uh, you know uh, a little doubtful about it in the beginning how will i be able to do that but it's it's really really good like once you do live sound uh, you don't feel like going back and dubbing so the kind of quality that you get so he keeps talking a lot about that he keeps right. pulling my leg it's so much fun to be on set and it's such a simple uh light hearted uh, film it's very very fun and and the same is the mo- uh, you know mood of the set as well right. 
right but how good is your telugu because sing sound must be quite daunting uh, oh yeah the so language i think i have a i have an accent in the film as well some guys i'm if i'm not wrong uh so yeah so i have to get it right um, so we used to have reading sessions the right. previous night which i've not uh, done for many movies so right. we all had to stay in one place so anyway so we got to do reading sessions with him some uh, some rehearsals right. and that and yeah it, it it it's so much fun during for the movie right so it's like a little picnic i think he said uh, yeah kind of it's <laughs> like that uh, talk a little about miss india keerti it looks so lovely uh, um, yeah miss india is um, again a film um, where uh, uh, it's it's about a girl who goes uh, from a village all the way to the us and how she becomes an entrepreneur Uh, okay there's a little more to the twist but i'm going to keep that for later obviously <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you shot almost entirely i believe in uh, the west right uh yeah 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 we, uh, almost and then we came back and we shot a few as well and, and uh, did you get recognized a lot as savitri because i believe maneti did very well in the us as well Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, so, it were they was. surprised to find Mahanati walking the streets wearing uh, very snazzy clothes? Uh, <laughs> no, actually. Oh, sorry. Wait, we didn't. We didn't shoot in the US. We shot okay, in Spain. Shot in Spain. Okay. Spain. Uh, but uh, but yeah, we're showing US. Uh, I don't think they should go out. <laughs> 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 so um uh you know uh, i also wanted to discuss a little about uh, you were supposed to make your debut in uh, uh mumbai movies but i think you uh, sort of hit pause on that uh, why was that no we were supposed to start a little earlier but i had some date issues so i had to uh, so that kind of uh, that was the problem otherwise uh, i i should have done it but yeah the, uh, we were supposed to start a little early and when we started late i had to finish my pending projects so we had some date issues yeah right um you know the other part of you is of course the fashionist akirti you studied fashion design and uh, at pearl academy and then you've done an internship uh, abroad as well i believe yeah, yeah, yeah. how important uh, are uh, clothes and how important is fashion to you um very important uh, and that too for films where i'm working right now it, it's a, it's a great knowledge that i've gained uh, right. st- uh, studying it all about fashion um and actually my aim like this i took up fashion because um, my dad said you know i can't produce a movie for you you need to <laughs> do something yourself when it has to come it has to come by itself i can't go behind all these <laughs> so i was like okay so i just need to wait for the right time when it has to happen like how we spoke earlier right. if, if it's meant to happen it, it yeah. will happen so i thought okay i will probably take up uh, design and probably become a designer for your movies okay. so at the end it was all about ending up in cinema right. for me and my sister so that's how i took up fashion and and then i got to explore that world beautifully uh, it, it was it, it, I, i miss my college days and uh, yeah so this that that's a, a very nice knowledge that i gained it helps a lot in shoot um over the years it's it's you know uh, through this experience it's kind of changed uh, so yeah the, uh, some technical knowledge all these things help a lot uh, for working yeah even uh, you know just the way you look just what you have to wear the angle uh, that the shot is from uh, it it gives you an advantage doesn't it ha yeah, it does and in uh, in fact uh, more technically like in terms of like say there has to be some alterations or right. uh, you know some like i can get into stitches and some small small things but which you know i can get in detail with right. uh, because i've learned them and how to tackle them and these kind of uh, angles and clothes and all these more come into uh, uh learning uh, through through experience also yeah. like right. working in a lot of movies then understanding okay this was the mistake this, right. this should have been like this i wish it right. was this way so yeah but otherwise technically it's helped me a lot 
Right. Keith, do you are you one of those who studies your work and sort of uh, you know tries to better it or do you just finish a film and then that's it you don't revisit it or do you keep wanting to do better or think oh I wish I'd done that better or uh, what oh, is that your always program? happens that never ever stops okay. you always and sometimes I uh, you do you just don't watch if I think uh, Maharani is the only film where I I saw it and I felt okay I uh, like you know felt confident that okay maybe uh, maybe I've done nice you know <laughs> otherwise all all the other films um, you get back and you you'll be like oh I wish I had done this or I wish uh, my hair was like this I wish I had performed in a different way here I that know. always keeps happening because you know you. the uh once you see it on screen as a film you get to know a lot of mistakes that you've done probably not that everybody from the outside can see but as an actor what right. i should have done there so yeah that always i I'm, i i never get satisfied so easily <laughs> but you always wanted to be an actor kirti yeah you always wanted to be an yeah. actor yeah my mom I mean, is my inspiration yeah so did you perform uh, ever i mean you acted as a child child yeah yeah, yeah. but then why did you want to take a break after that you wanted to sort of uh, uh uh grow up a bit before you returned yeah or? so that's what my dad was like you need to finish your graduation and then you need to get into acting so i finished my 12th and i was like dad i need to get into acting so he was like 12th is not your graduation <laughs> you need to finish your college you need to graduate and then you need to do and that's when he told me like you know just because i'm a producer i can't produce a movie with you you need to do it by yourself and you know it just has to happen and yeah so priyan uncle being uh, that's friend and he wanted to introduce me so they all started off together priyan sir right. dad lal sir all of them started together so it was it was feeling like i, I think it's nostalgic for them also that you know my first movie is with priyan sir and lal sir so it's it was kind of a family business <laughs> How was it getting back with them after so many years? Not so many years, but a few years. Yeah, they've I mean, also grown up, and you know they can see you and feel proud of you. I guess. Yeah, I think it's been like five, six years, and uh, it, it just um, again, it's like the same. It's it's my it's very close to me. The team is because it's where I started off. Yeah, uh, and to be back with them and it, uh, Priya and Uncles is such a strong team, and I, I love working in his films and his, his clarity and vision. You always keep learning something new from him, so it's always very nice to get back with the team. What is it like working with the legendary Mohan Lal? I mean, what a giant of an actor! What is it like being in his presence? uh he always keeps uh, surprising you with uh, he uh, with his you know small expressions and you know when you notice him uh, uh like when he's right beside you and he's acting uh, he kind i mean you feel like oh my god am i acting with this person <laughs> you know uh, so he always keeps surprising and i think uh, uh, that's what make makes makes them a star and uh, you speak malayalam tamil and telugu is there any other la- and of course hindi i presume you speak some hindi and yeah uh, of course uh, you know english is perfect as well is there any other language that you speak that we don't know no, it doesn't i i'm <laughs> I'm not as linguistic as uh, I I sound like I I just uh, Telugu is not where I'm very very fluent but I uh, I was just giving an uh, interview yesterday in Telugu and I kind of realized that my Telugu has actually improved so I'm feeling happy about that. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Tamil and Malayalam has always been at home. My mom is from Chennai hmm. and my dad's from Kerala, so it's like. Both languages, and uh, so yeah, I keep talking both. And yeah, Hindi because I actually studied in Kendra Vidyalaya, and so there are a lot of students from the north. So right. I, I, I got to talk, and even my college, a lot of my friends are from the north, right. and yeah, I, 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 they still talk with me in Hindi, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it. I mean, I actually kind of learned uh, from talking to my friends more than actually like you know learning it. as a language i know and hindi films are just waiting to adopt you 
So <laughs> don't go too soon. I think the work you're doing in uh, uh, Southern films is so amazing, you know. So don't get taken in too soon by <laughs> Hindi film industry. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Kiti, I want to end with a lovely uh, thing that I noticed about you, you know. The, the sort of, um, the way uh, the other women in the industry also embraced uh, and have embraced you, the, the way they released the trailer of uh, Penguin, you know, whether it was Tapsi or Trisha or Samantha, it was so nice. Uh, so is there a sense of sisterhood uh, that all of you have? Uh, uh, you sort of uh, know that uh, you're, you know, there are limited roles, but you don't, you know, out compete each other. You're not, you're, you know, you're not enemies. I mean, you're just friendly rivals or whatever, or friends. No, I don't think we have any enemies. So I think our, I think our competition is ourselves. Right. I just compete with my old movies i have to be better than what i did in my last movie so that's all otherwise there, i don't uh, believe in competition i just believe in my own choice of scripts and what i do i compete with myself otherwise they're all good good friends so yeah, yeah this is a you know the film is about motherhood and uh, I, I really wanted uh, all the women to you know start promoting it and so that's what we did Great. It was so lovely to speak to, uh, to you and truly your competition is with yourself and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you so much for joining us Thank and all you. the best for Penguin. We're looking forward to being thrilled to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Pleasure talking to you. Too. you. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye.